Good morning, dear students. Let's learn math in a fun and easy way. I'm your teacher for today. I'm Teacher Deo. Let's study completing the square. Here is our most essential learning competency, solve quadratic equations by completing the square. We also have here some points to remember. In algebra, it looks like this. x squared plus bx plus b over 2 squared is equal to x plus b over 2 squared, where b over 2 squared is what we call complete the square. Let's have an example to understand it better. This is our standard quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Now let's solve 2x squared plus 4x minus 6 is equal to 0. This will be a step-by-step -step method. So first we have to transpose negative 6 and it becomes positive 6. Since a, b, c in our equation is divisible by 2, so let's divide it and we get x squared plus 2x is equal to 3. Next, to complete the square, let's add b over 2 squared both sides. Then substitute the value of b, which is now equal to 2. We have now x squared plus 2x plus 1 is equal to 3 plus 1. Let's factor x squared plus 2x plus 1, and that gives us the answer. The quantity of x plus 1 squared, and we added 3 plus 1, of course, and we got 4 as our answer. To remove the squared, let's extract it while getting the roots of both sides. We have now x plus 1 is equal to positive negative 2. Then we have here x is equal to negative 1, positive negative 2. Let's get the roots of this equation. x is equal to negative 1 plus 2 and x is equal to negative 1 and negative 2. If we add negative 1 and positive 2, the answer will be x is equal to 1. And adding negative 1 and negative 2, the answer is x is equal to negative 3. I will give you more examples so that you understand this better. So let's have this example. Our equation is x squared plus 6x minus 16 is equal to 0, where b here is 6. So first step, we need to transpose negative 16 to the other side, and that comes positive 16 now. Then let's complete the square by adding b over 2 squared, both sides. Substitute the value of b, which is 6. Okay, so that's x squared plus 6x plus the quantity of 6 over 2 squared is equal to 16 plus the quantity of 6 over 2 squared. Then we get x squared plus 6x plus, that's 3 squared, so it gives us the answer 9. And 16 plus 9, of course. Let's factor x squared plus 6x plus 9. And we get the quantity of x plus 3 squared is equal to, by adding 16 plus 9, that's 25. Let's extract the squared. So the square root of the quantity x plus 3 squared is equal to positive negative 25. So that gives us the answer. x plus 3 now is equal to positive negative 5. Then we have x is equal to negative 3, positive negative 5. So let's find the roots of the equation. First, we have x is equal to negative 3 plus 5, and x is equal to negative 3 minus 5. So if we add negative 3 plus 5, that gives us the answer 2. If we add, since they are both negative, so we add 3 and negative 5. And that gives us the answer negative 8. That ends our lesson. We hope to see each other again on our next video lesson. Thank you for listening.